Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Optifine and Forge at the same time on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 and the good news is that we don't actually have to use Optiforge anymore. So Optifine just released their latest update and it's the latest preview edition of Optifine for version 1.17.1 and finally we are able to use Optifine and Forge at the same time on version version 1.17.1 so as you guys can see i have actually got a few mods enabled and i've got some cool looking shaders and they're both running at the same time and this is thanks to optifine and forge running at the same time on minecraft 1.17.1 so you can see on the top right there i do have a zeros a minimap installed and it's a really cool mod i'm going to show you guys how to download and install that later on as well and you can see in my hand i do have a torch which is illuminating everything around me and this is the dynamic lights mod and it's a really cool mod I would highly recommend that you guys check this one out as well. We can also see that I do have the Just Enough Items mod installed, which is basically a recipe mod, so I can actually click on any one of these and it's going to tell me how to make it. So it's a really cool mod if you guys are starting out or you want to be able to have a look at the blocks and quickly have access to them and see how you can craft them, then this mod is really cool. So you guys can see I've just clicked on this diamond sword over here and it's telling me that I need two diamonds and a stick to make this and it's giving me other information as well which we would not normally know within the game so this is another cool mod that we can download and use on forge for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 if i go into my options and go into video settings we can see that optifine is running and i can see a shaders button here so we do know that optifine is installed and you guys can see that i am running the oceano shaders version 3.0.1 on optifine so i'm going to show you guys how to download and install optifine how to download and install Forge and how to use both Optifine and Forge at the same time for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. I'm also going to show you guys how to download a couple of mods so you guys can see that you are able to easily use mods and shaders at the same time. If you guys did see my other video where I showed you how to download and install Optiforge for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, you can continue to use that if you want to. But if you guys have been having problems installing Optiforge, then you can can go ahead and use this method. This is the traditional method of installing Forge and then using Optifine as a mod. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install both Optifine and Forge and then use Forge with Optifine on version 1.17.1. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is to actually download and install Java because we do need the latest version of Java to open up the Forge installer. So just go to your internet browser and just search for Java JDK 17. So you can obviously use any search engine you want to. So let's go ahead and search for Java JDK 17 and then you want to click on the oracle.com link over here. And don't worry, I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads that I'm going to show you guys today. So let's click on this and let's go ahead and download the Java JDK. 17 file this is the x64 installer because i am running a windows based machine i'm going to click on this file to start the download it is a big file so it might take a while to download for you guys depending on your speed so let's wait for that to finish and i'll be right back all right so as you guys can see the java jdk version 17 file has finished downloading so we can close this down and the next file i'm now going to download is actually optifine so in your search bar just type in minecraft optifine and then go to the optifine.net link this is the main optifine official website click on the download section and when you come on this section you will see that there is a plus button here and it says preview versions so the file you need to actually download is this one where it says preview version so you click on the preview versions link it will show you two files and as you guys can see it does say forge over here so luckily forge is now compatible with this version of optifine so as of today's date this is optifine hd u h1 Three two of the Optifine preview edition for Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1. If you go ahead and click on the change log, you will notice that it does say compatible with Forge and it should also give you the version of Forge that it is compatible with. So if you guys are downloading this, do make a note of the version of Forge that we need to download. So as you guys can see, this is version 37.0.65. So this is very important because Forge at the moment is in beta stage and it keeps on changing. So we do need to 
to make sure that we are downloading the correct version of Forge that is going to be compatible with Optifine. And this is the latest preview version of Optifine for Minecraft 1.17.1. So let's go ahead and click on Mirror and let's go ahead and download Optifine Preview Edition for 1.17.1. So as you guys can see, it has started the download. It is a small file, so it should be done fairly quickly. So in a new tab, I'm now going to search for Minecraft Forge. And then I'm going to go to the main official website for Forge for Minecraft, which is files.minecraftforge.net. Once you come to this website, don't download the installer version here. Instead, scroll down, click on where it says show all versions, because you can see that the latest version is actually 37.0.70. And the version that we are after is 37.0.65. So look for that version over here. So as you guys can see, it says 37.0.65. And then I'm going to click on the installer link over here to start the download. You will see a message that says, please wait a few seconds. And then you will get to click on the skip button here and that should start the download. All right. So now that we have downloaded Java, Optifine and Forge, and we do know that we have the correct versions of them, we can now go ahead and download shaders and a few mods. So let's close this down. Let's go ahead and download the Oceano shaders that I showed you guys earlier. So in your search bar, just type in Oceano shaders and you should get a link here for the curseforge.com website so just go to that curseforge.com link you will see it says oceano shaders version 3.0 click on files and then just look for the latest version on here so we can see that this is the latest updated version so click on the download link over here and let's wait for the download to start all right so as you guys can see it has finished downloading the oceano shaders i'm now going to close this down i'm now going to download the dynamic lights mod for minecraft 1.17.1 so in your search bar again just type in minecraft dynamic lights mod and we should have a curseforge.com link over here so then we can click on this link over here and we should be able to download the dynamic lights mod for version 1.17.1 so again click on the files link over here and look for version 1.17.1 because as of today's date that is the current version of the game and as you guys can see it says dynamic lights for version 1.17.1 i'm going to click on the download link over here and let's wait for that to start all right so as you guys can see the dynamic lights for version 1.17.1 has finished down downloading we can now close down this tab and let's download the other mod which i showed you guys which was the zeros mini map so in your search bar just type in minecraft zeros which is spelled x a e r o and then mini map and then we should be able to go to the curseforge.com link and you will notice that most of the mods that i am showing you guys today are on the curseforge.com website so click on files and we should be able to download the forge version for version 1.17.1 now do be careful zeros minimap is available for forge and fabric so do make sure that you download this file for forge so as you guys can see this file is the forge version for 1.17.1 i'm going to click on download and let's wait for that download to now start all right so as you guys can see it has finished downloading the zeros minimap for forge version 1.17.1 i can now close this down and the final file that i was showing you guys was the just enough items so in your search bar just type in minecraft and then just type in jei and it should bring up the just enough items link which is another curseforge.com link so click on that click on files you will see that it does save game version 1.12.2 so just ignore that scroll down do make sure that you are downloading the game version 1.17.1 so let's go ahead and click on this file and let's click on the download link over here all right so that is all of the files that i was showing you guys earlier so these were the shaders the oceana shaders and the mods that i was showing you guys earlier obviously you guys can go ahead and download as many mods as you want but just make sure that you are downloading them for version 1.17.1 which is the current release of minecraft so i'm going to put all of these files on my desktop and i'll show you guys how to install and get everything set up all right so i have placed all of the files on my desktop and the first thing we're going to do is to actually install java so this is the java file which i mentioned earlier the java jdk 17 file which is the latest version of java and we do need this to actually open up the forge installer so i'm going to double click on this file to start the installation and as you guys can see it does say this software has already been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to select yes i'm then going to click on next for all of these options to keep it as the default and then wait for the installation to finish.
All right, so as you guys can see, it does say Java has been successfully installed. I'm going to click on close. I'm going to move this file out of the way. We can now install Forge. And do make sure that you are installing Forge and not Optifine because we are using Optifine as a mod this time. So you don't have to actually install Optifine for this process. So right click on the Forge installer, select Open With, select Java Platform SE Binary. We are seeing this option because we just installed Java. And then I can now click on OK and select the default options there. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.17.1. Forge version 37.0.65, which is the version that is compatible with the latest preview release of Optifine. So click on OK, and we can now move this file out of the way. And now we don't actually have to do any more installations. We can just move these files into the mods folder. So let's go ahead and first of all, open up our Minecraft launcher. Once you are in the launcher, you will notice that the bottom left here does say Forge in the drop down, and it should also say latest release. So you do know that Forge has been installed. You can also click on the installations tab on the top here, and we can see that Forge has been installed for version 1.17.1, and this is Forge version 37.0.65. Now, if you just hover over any one of the lines in this section and click on the folder icon over here, it should open up your Minecraft main directory. We can now close down the launcher, and in the main directory look for a folder that says mods so as you guys can see I do have a folder here that says mods if you guys don't have this folder right click on an empty space click on new click on folder and then just rename it to mods like I'm showing you here now let's go inside the mods folder and now we can move all of the mod files inside the mods folder so in your mods folder you should have a few jar files as you guys can see I've got preview optifine 1.17.1 HD UH1 pre 2.jar. I've got Zero's minimap, I've got just enough items, and I've got the dynamic lights for 1.17.1. All of these mods have been placed inside the mod section, so I can now go one level higher back into the main Minecraft directory. Now, if we look for a folder that says shader packs, so you guys can see I do have a folder here that says shader packs. Again, if you don't have this folder, right click on an empty space and then select new, select folder, and then just rename it to a shader packs. I'm now going to go inside the shader packs folder. And as you guys can see, I already have a couple of shader packs installed over here. So I'm going to take the Oceano shaders file that I downloaded earlier and then just drag it into the shader packs folder like so. So you guys can see that the shaders zip file is in the shader packs folder so you will find that the shader packs are always going to be in zip format and the mods are always going to be in jar format so just keep that in mind okay let's close this down we can now open up the minecraft launcher again and now we can go ahead and finally launch forge so you've got two options you can either make sure forge is selected at the bottom left here click on play or we can go into the installations tab here and hover over forge and then click on the play button so let's go ahead and do that now all right, so as you guys can see, the game has now loaded and let's maximize this window. We can see that on the top here it does say warning forge beta. So we do know that forge is basically installed. It does say forge 37.0.65 at the bottom left here for Minecraft Java edition 1.17.1. You guys will probably notice that it does say new forge version available 37.0.70. So don't actually go ahead and update it as of yet. Just wait for the Optifine website to tell you what the latest release of Optifine is and what version of Forge is compatible with that. So now we can actually go into our options menu here, click on video settings. So we do know that Optifine is installed. We can see at the bottom left here it does say Optifine HD H1 Pre 2 Ultra. And let's click on shaders. We can now go ahead and enable the Oceano shaders by clicking into it and then clicking on done. Once the shaders are selected, it will have a selection box around it. So we do know that those shaders are selected. So let's click on done. Let's go back one level. And if we click on the mod section over here, we can see all of our installed mods over here. So you can see that dynamic lights, forge, zeros minimap, and just enough items are all installed. It may not show you Optifine on this list, but obviously we do know that Optifine is working because we can actually enable shaders. Let's go ahead and create a new world. Let's click on create new world and let's wait for that to now load up. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now in the game and the shaders are looking really nice. These are the Oceano shaders. If you guys haven't yet checked them out, definitely do check them out. They are really cool. They do have some nice, amazing water graphics, as you can guess from the actual name. We can see on the top right section there, we do have Zero's minimap showing us where we have to go. And if I press the E button on my keyboard, I've got the Adjust Enough Items 
mod over here. So let me go ahead and give myself a torch. And now let me change the time to night time. And as you guys can see, we do have the cool illuminations coming from the dynamic lights mod as well. And everything looks really nice, as you guys can see over here. If I press the Y key on my keyboard, that will bring up the Zero's minimap options. And I can click on waypoints. I can go ahead and actually create a new waypoint over here. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you guys can see, I do have a waypoint showing over here you guys can actually go ahead and download zero's world map as well which is really cool because it actually integrates the mini map with the world map and you can see everything on a larger scale so if you guys are looking for a few cool mods then do check out these mods i would highly recommend them and the oceano shaders as well hopefully you guys did find this video useful and now luckily you won't have to use optiforge you can install optifine using the all the methods which we guys are used to installing optifine and forge at the same time so if you guys have been wondering how to use optifine and forge at the same time and uh, this is the way to actually use optifine and forge at the same time if you found the video useful do give us a like if you do have any comments or queries about using optifine or forge at the same time and anything to do with this process do leave them in the comment section below and i will do my best to try and help you guys out if you guys have any queries about how to download and install optifine for minecraft version 1.17.1 or how to actually download and install forge for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 just leave them in the comment section below and i will do my best to try and help you guys out also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching